Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new episode of the Chelsea 11 series. Now ladies and gents, we have our rival rewards to claim here so we're going to see if we can get anything nice. It's just probably going to be club fill, I can't lie because we are in division 6. Doesn't have the best for rewards. Yeah, as you can see, a 25k pack and two uh, Jumbo Gold 26s. So not the greatest of rewards. I mean, we could take coins, but it only gives us 6k. So we're just going to take the untradeable packs. Now, we do have like three player picks, I think it is, or two player picks. that I forgot to open uh, last episode, so we'll open them now. Uh, first one is going to be Kunde. Ooh, that's quite nice. And the second one is going to be... Havertz, all right. But yeah, if you're new to the series, please do consider subscribing to join us on a road to 700 subscribers by the end of this year. That would be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's get into these packs and let's see what we can get. We've got an exchange pack here as well to open. So let's get straight into the Royal Rewards. First pack, French right winger from PSG. Probably not these money. He's probably got a card, I think. Yeah, Baltimore. Uh, all four dupes, none of them tradable, so we'll just quick sell them. What are the other... Okay, you know, it's a 27 player pack after this second uh, Jumbo Gold 26, and it's not even a rare. Wow. That is pretty bad. Let's send that to club. Um, apparently, there's a tradable player there, so we'll sell all that. There was a Sassuolo kit there, I think. Sadly, that wasn't tradable. But next pack, 25k pack, is going to be a Nigerian right winger, and I have no clue who that is. Oh, oh it's Chukwaze. Chuk okay, let's send that to club. Any dupes? No, none of them tradable. So we'll just, again, discard it. Final rival rewards pack. Like I said, I didn't expect to get much. It's going to be a non-special Spanish striker. Borgi Iglesias. Yeah, like, I didn't think I'd get anything that great. Uh, let's just discard all that and then the final pack we have to open is an exchange packs a pack So we'll open that too. Let's see. No special again just Please be at least an 8-4. Oh Cruz 8-6. I didn't see that coming. I can't lie. There's a dupe there as well. Discard all those and yeah uh, I mean, I didn't expect to get a great uh, of rewards. I can't lie, but without further ado Let's not waste too much time and let's get into our first rival game of the episode and see what happens. Let's do this what a ball that is. It's Abadi Pele. He gets a shot off, but Millie Bright trips him. It's going to be a penalty. Oh, dear. Will he score? It's a penalty against Thibaut Courtois. Lukic, the man to take it for them, unless they change it. Which way is he going? That's the question. He's looking right right now. Will he go right? No, he'll go left. It's a good pen. Fair play. I mean, terrible way to concede. I hate me conceding to penalties, but it's 1-0 to the opposition. Drogba, Joe Cole. Cole looking to switch it out wide to Salah. He's going to flick it onto the run of Juan Cadrado. Cadrado lifts it in. It's Nicholas Jackson and it's a power header into the bottom corner. There we go. R9 himself, Nicholas Jackson, scores the first goal for us to equalise it and make it 1-1. Awesome mayhem. That's Jackson. Jackson, he's just scored. Could he do it a second time? Yes, he can. Of course he can. This upgraded Evo, Nicholas Jackson, is unstoppable. 94 rated for a reason. And he scores another goal to make it 2-1. Jackson. Oh, my days. Oh, it's nearly a goal, but it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a pen. Jackson tripped in the box. Could this be potentially... His hat trick. No, we're not giving it to Salah. We're giving it to Jackson to make it a hat trick. Nicholas Jackson steps up and scores. Of course he does. Too much power for the goalkeeper to save. That's his hat trick. And I think now, after that hat trick, we'll, we'll finally bring him off and we'll try out Gianluca Vialli because we haven't used him yet. And we packed him last episode. So let's see how he does on the pitch after our Senegalese stars just bagged a hat trick. Royer trying to flick it on to Vialli. Gianluca Vialli. Oh my day, sit down. It's Gianluca Vialli. What a finish. The roulette to send the defender and then the finish into the far corner. Fantastic from the Italian. And he makes it 4 1 to the Chelsea 11. Got Cuthbert. Cole. Chile. Cole. 
So Cole taken down with his technical skills. And now it's Chilwell to deliver the set piece. Armando Breuer! And he's just levels above everyone else there to get to that header. He just jumped so high as he towered over the rest of the, the defence to score. It's 5-1. I mean, I think he's probably in a rage quit now. But what a ball in from Chile to find him. Uh, I'm going to guess he's left because he, it hasn't paused. So he's probably like dashboarded or something. So we're going to have to wait. There we go. 5-1 win, not a bad way to, you know, to start the first game of the episode. What a header, though, from Breuer. I mean, the height he gets is ridiculous there. But I can't lie, so far, every striker in our team, slash, you know, the subs as well, is pretty good. So we've got a very good bit of attacking force, really, now in this team. So hopefully we can upgrade other areas just as well. Okay, he's trying to mark Pele. He's going to be an absolute nightmare. What a ball to Van Nistelrooy. It's the Dutch legend who gets the shot off and he gets a very, very lucky rebound. And he slots it away, of course. He just he doesn't miss chances like that, really. So one-on-one, -on -one, he, he gets a bit lucky. But the keeper parries it into his path and he gets it in. It's 1-0 to the opposition. Forward, cuts inside. The Egyptian king looking to do something. He's lost it. Sen Jackson, Cuthbert in support. Joe Cole... Drogba, Didier Drogba, he scores, finally, back in it. The finally, we get a chance and we just do not waste it there. And it's a great finish from Jackson to make it one all. Great ball to Chile, he's making the run. The skipper, now it's Jackson to Cuthbert and a bit of space. What a finesse. It's 2-1. Every Cuthbert, the turnaround has been amazing. We went one down and then we scored two on him to make it 2-1. And it's the Scots woman. Erin Cuthbert with the second of the game. It's Drogba is in. He slides it across Erin Cuthbert with an open net. 3-1. From one down to three up in literally, I think, about five minutes. Jackson scored the first. No, not sorry, Jackson. It was Drogba who scored the first. And then Cuthbert with two goals to make it 3-1. He's paused it. Will we get the rage quit? Even though we were on the losing side just a few minutes ago. Who knows? I think he's just probably making some subs. But if he can bring on any more good players, then that is amazing. Because his team is already pretty good. Nope, he's left. Okay. 3-1. I'll definitely take that. That's going to get us another win. Boosting us up another checkpoint. So, a very nice way to win our second match. Right, ladies and gents, we've got the brand new re-released 85 times 10. Now, these back in the day were cracked. So let's see whether we can get any good special cards in this pack. Of course, pretty much guaranteeing us a walkout. So you'd expect, you know, maybe, I don't know, at least four or five walkouts in this pack. So at least half the pack being walkouts. We do have some other packs that we might open as well here. But... That's the main pack we're looking at right now. 85 times 10. There's two Chelsea cards. Well, slash former Chelsea cards that we won in packs. Uh, both of them being footies right now. I don't know about the batch, but um, the two footy things we want. Petr Cech and the other one being uh, Sam Kerr. So one of those two, really. We're looking for footies. And we're looking for a footies icon. Just, just be something good, really. 85 times 10. It's going to be a blue. It's Dutch striker from Bologna. It's Drogsberg. Is that right? Yeah, Future Stars. It's going to be a fantasy. What? It better be a good one. Who is it? Wow. Marmouf. That is awful. I thought you'd get maybe some bear out of that. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of fodder in there, but actually, you know what? I, I will take that, actually. There, there's nine walkouts. I can't be really, you know, complaining about that, but I'm just disappointed that we didn't get, like, I don't know, a Tots or or, che or just anything, you know, good. It's a lot of fodder, though, so I will take it, but a bit disappointing, I can't lie. Right, ladies and gents, we have a bunch of stuff to open here, including a few exchanges, a 90-plus Tots upgrade, which is tradable, and, of course, those little packs from earlier. Now, there are some which we're not going to open because they're, like, mixed players packs, so there's literally no point. But the ones from, like, daily play and stuff will open because they're, like, 82 times 2s, 83 times 3s, stuff like that. So, let's get straight into the Tots pack first. What can we get? It's going to be a Spanish center R from Athletic Club Bilbao. I have no idea who that is. It's Vivian. Doubt you'll go for much. Probably average price of a Tots, which is about 40, 50k. So we're just going to keep him and put him into an upgrade. Next pack is going to be a 51 player pack. It's going to be a special. Come on. 
Dutch, Zerxy. We've just put him into an exchange, so I guess we'll take it back. It's good fodder. I Merrick Laporte, Campbell, Gwyn. A lot of decent fodder there, actually. 17 dupes, though, which is a bit of a shame. And then the main thing that's really annoying is that we're getting a lot of dupes, but a lot of the dupes are commons. We're not getting a lot of rares, but here we go. Second 51 player pack is going to be a balloon. Come on. Hungarian. Centre back. Willie Orban. I don't even know who this is. It's a fly, I think. Is it fly? It's a fly, and it's a team this season? No, it's a team of the year nominee. It's Diani. Wow. Two 92s in one pack. That is crazy. That's pretty good for a 51 pack. Um, we got two 84s there in there as well. A very nice pack. That's probably our best pack so far this episode. Probably actually better, you know, in like player to pack value than the 85-10 we opened. But another exchange this time at 27. It's going to be a special as well. Turkish Cam Ardagula. Oh my days, we are collecting some special cards. 89 rated, very nice fodder. We've got Verts in there as well, I think. So we're getting a lot of fodder. A lot of club fill, a lot of fodder, which is going to help us out with some SBCs. Uh, last exchange, I think now. A 19 player pack. This one, of course, I don't think was going to be a special. Hopefully at least a board. Schlotterbeck, okay, we'll take it. Eight dupes, we'll just discard all them because they're not tradable. Um, any other... Uh, what are the other packs we've got? Okay, we'll open, like, to uh, up up about, like, here. Like, when it hits these two, we won't open those two. We'll open all these packs here, though. A3 times three. Oh, what's that? Mexican. CDM. Oh, it's a copper card, I think. It's an Alvarez from West Ham. Wow, that's like a 92, 93, isn't it? Oh, another good bit of fodder. We're getting a lot of fodder now. Okay, we're kind of cooking. Uh, two eight threes in there as well, of course, because it's guaranteed. I'm not too bothered about the other two eight threes, but another eight three. This time at times two, it's going to be another special. Is that um, Canes? Florian Canes? Is his name first name Florian? Yeah, it's Florian Canes. Eight seven. Okay, we get a lot of fodder. It's been pretty good. Eight two times two. Nah, first. You know, stinky pack. At least 8-4, please. Yeah, Fabinho, we'll take that. You know, I, I'd, a lot of people will be like, oh, you know, 84s aren't great. The only reason I want 84s are for the informed picks, really. Or, you know, for the squads of the 84 10s, because I think they're 84s or 85s. So, they're quite handy. The, when it comes to, like, boards, though, like 83s, they ain't great. Uh, second to last. No, no, it's not second to last. It's like third to last. But we get Koke there as well from an 81 times 2 A lot better than the pack we opened prior to that, which was an 82 times 2 An 80 times 2 now is going to be literally nothing. Probably an 8-3 at best. It's going to be an 8-2. Discard the dupe, of course, because it is not tradable. And the final pack, I believe, is also an 80 times 2 I doubt we'll get anything from it. Yeah, it's going to be a Portuguese CDM Galpalinha. Okay, you know, we'll take that. We'll take that, Jal Palinha, and we got Molina in there as well. You know what, we'll take it, I guess. But overall, those packs were pretty good. We got a lot of fodder in, a lot of club fill. So hopefully now we can have a look at some more upgrades to complete and we can see if we can pack any of these footies cards. Let's do this. Right, ladies and gents, we've got an 84 times 10 to open here after we've just used that Vivian card that we got out of the Tots pack into it. So let's see, can we get any more specials and any footies this episode? Let's go. Come on, to blue. Spanish left back from Real Madrid, Olga Carmona. Is it a double? It is a double and it's a Tots. Whose Tots are in packs? I don't even remember the Tots in packs. Who is it? Ooh, who's that? Sabotelai. Okay, you know what? We'll take that. It's a Tots. I can go back straight into another 84-10. Anything behind? Cadrado. I mean, I guess we'll take that. We do already have an Evo version of him, so, you know, it's not that great. We got, oh my days, Renard and Endler in there as well. It's a pretty good pack. We got about, what, six walkouts? So, we'll definitely take that. Right, ladies and gents, another 8410. Please, please, please give us a footies card. Come on, please. It's a blue again. Is it going to be a Tots? It's German. It's a right back. It's going to be, I think, who's that, actually? I don't know if you know who that is. It's Carl, and it's a Tots. Who's the Tots? Pajor, 93, very good fodder, but also a Tots as well. Anything behind, maybe another special or two. No, Olga Carmona, actually, never mind. Um, four walkouts in that one, three specials. Worse than the first, but it's still decent. I will take it, and we do get some eight fours in the club as well, which will help out with informed picks. So, we will take that. 
Right, our third 8410. Still no footies, but can we get one? Please, please. That's our footies. That's going to be a proper card. It's going to be Venezuelan, I believe that is. Striker, is it? Who is that? Cadiz, and is another. There's two proper cards. Who's the other one? Lesita. Okay, they're very good fodder. 91 and 93. Anything behind, please? Maybe a few more walkouts. Eda Militao, Courtois. Edison, you know what? That's about, what, five walkouts? Six, uh, five walkouts, four specials. That's definitely better than the last one. That's probably our second best 8410. But, of course, still the first one being the, the first one we opened, I think, was our best. So, we'll still take this one, though. Pretty good fodder and a very good selection of specials to put into upgrades. Right, ladies and gents, this, I believe, is our fi like, well, second to last of, um, A410 we can do. So, we're getting close to uh, losing our chance of getting a footies, especially a, a CFC footies. But let's go. A410, please. Not a footies. It's going to be Ardegula, and I'm pretty sure that's a proper card. Yeah. No, it's a Euro card. Who's the Euro card? If it's Danny Olmo, that's sick, because that fodder will be amazing. Who's that? Vlahovic. 93. Okay, anything behind? Any more fodder? Wow. Honestly, probably our worst one. Three walkouts. That is pretty bad, I can't lie. Right, ladies and gents, we have six. Yes, six 51 player packs. So, in total, that's like over 300 players. So, surely we've got to get some specials. Surely we've got to get some fodder. And surely we could pack a former or current Chelsea special card that is in packs. But let's go. Let's start off with our first one. We've got something to claim. It's a duplicate Ardagula. Let's send that to the club. But I'm hoping, I'm just praying we can get a good special. Come on, first one is going to be a special card. It's going to be... French, Kunde. Yeah, I knew it was Kunde. Literally, I think he's one of the only Heat player, not Trail, not Heat, Trailblazer cards in packs, other than Henderson, I think. So, yeah, um, I mean, if we see that color, we pretty much guaranteed nothing good. Second one, please. Not special. Please be at least decent. Not, there's no variety in the game, so when you see an Italian centre mid, you might as well just skip it. It's a mate free. Pretty bad start, I can't lie. I was hoping for a lot better out of these exchanges. I mean, at least we're getting the you know the club fill to help us out. But third one is a blue. Is that a team of the year or is it a team of the season? Who's that? Okay, it's Kieran Tierney, but is it, it's probably a nominee, actually. Yeah, it's a nominee. I think that's a nominee. I can't actually tell the difference between a nominee for Tots or Team of the Year. Who is it? It's Trent. Yeah, it's a Team of the Year nominee. Uh, is that a dupe? I think it might be a dupe. No, it's not. I think I must have put him into, uh, into something then, but I can't lie. I don't want to sound selfish, but I don't want, you know, I don't want those specials. I want, like, tots and stuff if we do get bad ones. Okay, that's going to be a... What is that, actually? Oh, it's right wing. Saka? Who is it? It's, it's a fire. It's mead, and it's a fire card. I forgot what fire cards are in packs. Who is that? Oh, that's, uh, what's her name? Lawrence, yeah. You know what, we'll take that. That could actually be potentially good if we can put her into an Evo. So, I will take that one. That is quite nice. But, so far, I can't lie. Nothing too crazy. I think we have about two left. Yeah, two left. Come on. That's a special. German. CDM. Oh, this is Who? Emre Chan. Wow. Terrible. I mean, I mean, it's still a walkout, I guess. I don't know why I'm complaining. Walkouts are walkouts, but I just want a, I just want a blue. I just want a team of the season. Come on, please. Or just a footies or just something. That's a blue. Come on, be a tot. Dutch striker. Icon. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Van Persie. Van Persie and it's the team of the season. Okay. Who is the tots? B. I don't even care who is actually. Who is that? McAllister. And why are we packing all the Liverpool tots? First of all, I now McAllister. I'm not going to complain, though, because we were asking for a tot. We finally get one. Another bit of fodder here with Van Persie as well. So, overall, those weren't too bad. We got a lot of specials, a lot of fodder, a lot of walkouts. So, overall, out of those six exchanges, I'll definitely take that. Right, ladies and gents, our final 8410 that we can literally complete. We've ran out of all of them. So, maybe we've saved the best to last or maybe we've saved the worst for last. 
but I'll have to find out. Let's go. Please be a footies or a tots. What's it going to be? It's going to be a blue. Is it a team of the season? It's a German. It's a centre midfield. It's going to be Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz and is it a blue? It's a tots. Who's the tots? Katoto. You know what? We'll take that. 94 rated tots. Very nice. I'm guessing there's probably nothing else behind that, really. Yeah, that is probably, an, in terms of other cards, our worst. But it did give us a tots, so I will take it in that factor. But other than that, it's pretty stinky. Right, ladies and gents, another footies card into the first team. And it's going to be the brand. Well, I don't even know if it's brand new or not. But we've got footies Ricardo Carvalho. Now, we do need an upgrade at centre half. This is exactly what I was looking for. And they've released it. It's a beast looking card. Look at that card. 92 pace, 98 defending, 93 physical. Very good dribbling and passing on the centre half as well. With four incredible play styles. The only real debatable one is acrobatic. I don't know why he's got that, but what a card. That looks mental. Welcome to the side, Ricardo Carvalho. I mean, it's just, the team gets better and better every episode. I, we, didn't, we might have not gotten at a footies this episode, but I'll definitely take this because we got a lot of fodder. That meant we were able to complete this Ricardo Carvalho card. And, the, and for you people who don't know, if you play for Chelsea, I'll show you right now that he, in fact, did. Actually, never mind. He doesn't have a hero profile. I don't know why they, they uh, do that. But if I can go onto the transfer market, I can show you real quick uh, that he did, in fact, play for Chelsea. Part, there he is. And hero profile right there. Six years at Chelsea. It was a very good sensor R for us. But um, yeah, what an addition to the side. I mean, it's just, the team just is going to look absolutely deadly now. I can't lie. Right, ladies and gents. And to finish off this episode, we have four 51 player packs to open. So let's see whether we can get anything good. First one is going to be a special. It's, I believe, Sizzly. Is that Sizzly 92? Yeah, that's good follow. We're just going to skip this, even though it might be a double. I doubt it, though. Uh, yeah, some 8.4s and 8.3s in there, so we'll definitely take that. Um, what else can we get, though? That is the question out of the rest of these packs. I think we got, was it three more now? 50, three more 51 player packs, so let's go. Second one is going to also be a special. It's Brazilian, it's a center R. It's going to be from Real Madrid. It is Militao, but there's also another special in there with him. It's a, what is that? Oh, it's a Make Your Mark, Jao Neves, 95. Very good fodder. Anything behind? No, but still, I'll take it. Two 90 plus rated players. We're getting a lot of fodder this episode, I can't lie. Two more to, to open, and then, of course, it will be the end of the episode. Second to last one is going to be, an, again, an, I'm going to guess Keynes. No, it's not going to be Keynes. It's going to be Raspadori. I didn't even realise he was in packs, I can't lie. I haven't packed him much. I'll take it, though, again. Fodder's fodder. You know, we can't complain. More specials into the club, more upgrades are done, so... Definitely take it. Last 51 player pack. We're looking for a footies if possible, but I do doubt it. Let's go. No, regular gold. It's going to be an American. It's going to be a centre midfield. I'm going to guess it's Horan. No, I was completely wrong. It's not Horan. It's, I swear she's a cam anyway. Maybe she's a cam. I don't know. But worst pack, probably that one easily. I mean... The other ones were pretty good. But thank you for watching this episode of the Chelsea 11 series. Hopefully you did enjoy. I know we didn't really get to pack Sam Kerr or Czech, which is a bit disappointing. But we did get the, uh, of course, e not Evo, the uh, SBC completion of Ricardo Carvalho. So he's going to be a very good asset for our team. And those wins as well can help us work towards our Evos. But thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode just as much as I did. And if you did, of course, do remember to hit that subscribe button to help us out with both the end of month and end of year subscriber goals. But thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.